Well, it is one of the coldest nights of the season. On top of the bitter blast, we're also tracking a nor'easter. Chief Meteorologist Kate Bilo is back with the latest on the storm's timing and where the most snow could fall. Hi, Kate. Hi, Jessica. Yeah, lots to watch with this system. The track is going to be crucial in determining what the impacts will be and where they will be. Lots to talk about, so let's get into it. We'll start with the easy stuff because even though it's cold, it is dry tonight. Here's a live look at Center City right now. Current conditions showing it is cold and temperatures continue to drop. We're at 24 in Philadelphia right now. The only good news is the wind chill is also 24. The wind is pretty negligible right now. It's actually going to be switching and becoming more southwesterly into tomorrow, which means we're not really going to see much of that wind chill factor. That's some good news. It's dry for now. If you need to get ready for a winter storm, especially if you're down the shore, you want to make sure you're stocked up on rock salt, you have the shovels ready, maybe you need to gas up your snowblower, definitely do it tomorrow. Tomorrow is a quiet day, nice calm before the storm day. But then we'll watch this Arctic cold front slide in on Friday. Day, and that will draw the coastal low right on up the eastern seaboard, where it will then just inc strengthen incredibly quickly what we call bomb out as the pressure drops rapidly as the storm strengthens off the coast. 13 degrees tonight, crystal clear and frigid, one of the season's coldest nights. 12 is our coldest so far, we'll be close. 33 tomorrow, sunny and cold with a bitter breeze in effect throughout the afternoon. Two different scenarios still, and really these two different scenarios are not getting that much closer together. We still have a pretty wide spread, a pretty large amount of model variability here. This is the GFS model, and what this is showing is a track of the low further east, farther away from the coast. As this storm works its way up the coast, again, you can see the time. This is overnight Friday night into Saturday morning. Notice the extent of the snowfall, the westward extent of it. It's not much in the city or surrounding suburbs. A pretty moderate dose or steady dose of snow down the shore, which will last right on into Saturday afternoon before this then clears out. This would be about one to three inches inland, relatively low to minor impacts for areas west of Philadelphia, with six plus still possible near the coast. The European model is further to the west, and this has been consistently further to the west. This would be a heavier dose of snow. Notice the inland extent here. So we're looking at about four to eight inches if this pans out close to I-95 with as much as a foot possible at the coast. A big, big spread. There are a couple of models, I will say, that don't have much snow at all, even for Philadelphia. So what we're looking at is minor accumulation north and west. Some moderate accumulation is likely around the city, looking like at least about two or three inches, possibly more. Highest accumulations down the shore where six plus inches looks likely possibly as much as 12. So potential storm impacts, as I mentioned, that storm will what we call bomb out. That means it's going to undergo explosive intensification off the coast. But it may be far enough away by the time that happens that we don't really get the impacts. We are going to deal with strong gusty winds. The closer it is to the coast, the worse the winds will be with difficult travel and power outages and that prolonged heavy snow. Again, especially along the coast, the snow could last from Friday night all the way through Saturday evening, meaning even if we don't get into the heaviest, the duration alone will help that snow pile up along the eastern seaboard. So Friday and Saturday, those are our alert days. Cold again Sunday, and then we have a little bit of a warm-up to look forward to next week. Yuki, back over to you. Okay, Kate, thank you.